forehead. Can't lose that. All right. And instead of, I feel like I've got so many stickers with the little pretzel on it, so now a little magnet. So that's cute. Really nice. Nice and soft, which might be weird to say, but nice little change. Mix it up. All right. More birthday treats in addition to Arts Next Magnet. Get $4 off your next purchase in the Arts Next shop using coupon code. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Let's start with these are. M. Graham and Company watercolor paints. And I got Terra Rosa and Titanium White. And then this is the Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press watercolor paper by Legion Paper. Just a little sample of paper and let's see I like the little stars right actually we use this I feel like I'm always saving the lime green paper tissue paper but I never really end up using it for anything but I still save it because I'm an artist all right Oh, the end of this brush is like totally messed up. You can't really see. It's not registering that close, but it's like bent. The tip. Ah, that's really a bummer. Okay, um, so this is the Protégé Taclon paintbrush. Water resistant wooden handle, hefty synthetic bristles, built to last a lifetime. Try it out with your watercolor paints and experience control and consistency similar to the feel of a natural stable hair brush. All right, so one, I know I'm not, I was just opening stuff and going through it, but I'm already bummed out for two reasons. One, this tip that is like totally messed up and this joint from the metal to the handle is like wobbly. So that's really annoying. All right, and this is the Koinor Triograph 2B Graphite Pencil. It's pretty cool looking. Perfect triangle. All right, <clears throat> so that's everything and I'll give things a test. did need some water. My bad. My water in my water cup was looking awfully blue. All right. Um, I'm not going to try this right now because I want to take a picture of that and send it to them because I'm one of those people. <laughs> So I'm going to use a different brush that we've got in a previous month. This is a Princeton number four round Lauren brush. 
and I don't know how to use this. So, I haven't reviewed every month that I've received a box, so some of the things have not gotten tested, I guess. I don't know, this little brush slipped under the radar. So, That's nice. Wow, I really like the way that that lays and just like soaks into the paper and lays nice and flat. Wow. Well, I'm impressed. Usually we get these tubes of watercolor and I'm just kind of like, eh. Okay. But. That's some nice coverage. So as it says here, we think M. Graham and Company watercolor grains are pretty sweet. Not only are they made using honey to keep moisture intact, they also contain high amounts of pigment to provide intensely bright and rich color. We've included two different colors in this month's box, Terra Rosa, an earthy red that's excellent for tinting, and Titanium White, a balanced white that lends a highlighting touch. Uh -huh. All right, and let's see. So let's see, we have this graphite pencil, um, triograph. The Koinor Triograph 2B graphite pencil stands out from the crowd with its triangular shape and stained cedar wood body. The thick graphite core makes this tool perfect for working in large areas. Easily blend the pencil strokes to create buttery, smooth sketches. And do like a, a sphere. <clears throat> I just laid my hand in that wet paint. Oops. I kind of wish this was a little bit softer, but maybe that's just me. I wish I could blend this better. Trying to go just a bit darker around the perimeter. See what I can get out of this guy. Now, I hope this is something that I can sharpen normally. I haven't really thought about that with this giant triangle. Hmm. So that could be a downside, but pretty good. I don't know. Not, doesn't stand out as anything extra special to me, but that's just me. All right, and I guess this watercolor pad was a bonus item. This month we're loving Legion Paper Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press Watercolor Paper. With a super smooth surface, paint will take a little more time to dry, but the paper will never warp or buckle. Alright, let's see. So, since this is terra, as in terracotta,
Let's see. And let's see if I can put a little bit of this white. Now, I have never received like proper watercolor technique instruction, so I'm not sure that. Doing a highlight on still wet paint is the best thing to do, but time will not allow for it. Yeah, I probably should let that dry. So it wouldn't be all spiky like that or spidery, but. So, it's got a bit of a warp to it, or more of like a buckle, just like this curve, but not bad. Alright, overall, pretty good box. Wouldn't call my favorite. Last month was definitely a hit with me. Um, but there you go, there's your February Art Snacks box. And... A little bent and crooked brush, so.